John Cordy and I wanted to address a few things from the get-go. In a few recent comments I was called old, wearing a strange hat and also advised to wear a microphone, clip-on microphone. Now, I'm not in a church so I'm not going to wear a clip-on microphone. I'm not that old so I'm not going to wear a clip-on microphone. And if you've seen the intros I tend to trip over a lot of stuff and things fall over. That's another reason I'm not going to be wearing a clip-on microphone. So let's, let's nip that in the bud. Anyway, so that intro I made using one preset only on my HX stump. And this got me thinking about one of the things, so my friend Jake is borrowing my other HX stomp. I was kind of thinking back to when I first got my HX stomp a couple of years ago and trying to get my head around it and things that I thought maybe are things that took me a while to discover that maybe it would have been useful if I'd discovered way earlier. Um, and things that I find really useful about it that are more useful than any other modeler in my opinion. Top of that list is snapshots. I think the main mode that you'll see on your HX Stomp, you've got these kind of two main modes that you'll see. There's the one where you're editing, and then there's the home view, where at the bottom you've got like the tap tuner and stuff, and you can assign uh, stomps and stuff to these switches. Now, if you go page across, you eventually get to this thing where you've got like a little camera, and these are called snapshot. Snapshot mode is what I use to, to build actual gig presets. Instead of switching through presets, uh, so you might like have a preset for a clean, might have a preset for a drive and all that sort of stuff. What I do is I have a, a clean snapshot, uh, a solo snapshot and a rhythm snapshot. And that gets me through all of my gigs. Now other people do things in a slightly different way to that I think, but I think there's certainly a chunk of people that if you were playing in an originals band you've got kind of your clean tones, your dirty tones and your rhythm tone. And you might have uh, effects that you switch in and out of that, but you kind of have your co core set of tones so you know that number of tones might even be different for some people some people might just have one key tone and they just use the volume knob to get more out of it or whatever there's lots of ways to do things but yeah that's how i do things so snapshot three for me is my clean snapshot two is my drive uh solo and snapshot one is my rhythm so what can you do with snapshots the first thing that you can do is bypass certain things so if you're in this mode to start with you press across until you start seeing the cameras and in the top right hand side of the screen it will tell you which snapshot you're currently on uh, so I, I think by default that would be snapshot one um, now what you can do is bypass certain effects for certain snapshots so I've got it bypassed now in snapshot one in snapshot two it's on and you can save all of that so that basically when you come to your preset what you'll see is that for instance, my clean takes off the drive and it takes off some delay. My solo turns on a drive and switches on a delay. And my rhythm switches off a delay. So already, if you know that it can do that, I think that's fairly powerful. So you can turn off all of the blocks or turn on all of the blocks and switch them on and off um, per snapshot. So you might have a clean snapshot where you don't have a drive pedal in front of the amp. Uh, you might have a solo snapshot where you turn on a delay and a drive pedal. I don't know, you might have a rhythm where you turn off the delay and the reverb, for instance. Now the other thing that you, is worth knowing is that you can literally change any parameter within any block with each snapshot change. Um, so the way to do this is you basically go to your, your block that you want to change a parameter on. So find the parameter that you want to change. So say that I want to change my reverb. So in my solo setting, uh, I want the reverb to have a pre-delay of one, but in my clean setting, I want it to have a, a longer pre-delay for whatever reason. What I could do is go to my clean and then I hold in this button and start to turn it. And that will then turn it white. And so you'll see then that in my snapshot before, it will be at what I originally had it at. And then my snapshot three, it, it's sets to where I set it when I turned it and once you've set it up so that it's turned white you can change those parameters to be whatever you want them to be so it could be 0 milliseconds on one it could be you know 0.3 on another and then three milliseconds on the other snapshot so really powerful in that way I think the more obvious way that you could use this is to affect the drive so for instance in my line 6 litigator patch that I'm using here my clean tone has the drive all the way down at zero um, 
my solo tone has it all the way up at nine and my rhythm tone has it down to four. Um, and all of the other parameters, you know, like bass changes, treble changes as well. In this way, you can build up really, really powerful kind of um, patch changes. If you imagine you had an amp, and this is kind of the thing, I guess, with some people with single or dual channel amps or shared controls and all these things. Sometimes, you know, your clean might have completely different settings to what your ideal drive settings would be, but you have to end up making a compromise. In the HX Stomp world with these snapshots or the Helix world, it's kind of a different thing where you're not having to make these compromises. So for instance, I can have a high cut really low down for a solo tone with low to drive so that it's smooth and full. And then when I go to my clean setting, I can have that all the way back open up so that I get all the spank and chime that I want out of a clean sound. Um, so that's what I think is so powerful about snapshots and that's how I use them. Now the other thing that has come with um, 3.0 is this really handy feature actually. So before this change, basically my gigging preset, as I said before, is three snapshots. So I would have uh, snapshot one, snapshot two, snapshot three, and I'd have to switch in and out of this mode so that I could get to the tuner and the tap tempo. That wasn't ideal for me necessarily. I have to bend down between songs and to get to the tuner, or you use an external tuner or whatever. But because now we've got the command center and again I might drop in some close-ups here what I've done is I've set up you probably won't be able to see but snapshot one you can see is here with a short press snapshot three my clean is here and if I want my snapshot two I can long press and I get snapshot two which is my solo tone uh, and then back so I can get to my three snapshots with just two buttons meaning that I've got my tap tuner tap tempo tuner still here and so how I've achieved this press these two page buttons down together you get to a thing called the command center which is new for firmware 3.0 and the HX stomp and if you cycle down to the actual buttons you can change the commands that are on each so snapshot is the mode that I've got in the command behavior is press and hold and then press I get snap one hold I get snap two that's how I've set that up and then for foot switch two, I've also got a snapshot command, press and release, and snapshot three is the press, release, I've got nothing on there at the moment. That's kind of useful, and obviously there's lots of other things you could do with that, and I think also this has given us access to the reverse function on the looper, which I'm gonna do another video on. But that's just what I'm doing now, so I've got, as I say, two buttons to control three snapshots now. I've got my tap tempo and tuner, on the face of the machine and what I've also done is I've set up my foot switch to fade in that extra delay for like a dotted delay sound if I want that on the clean because that's one thing that I do sometimes need for a gig you might need an extra delay setting so I put that on my expression pedal and then I've got all the tones I need so that for me is why I think snapshots are probably the most powerful thing out of any modeler so it took me a while to figure out and discover snapshots and the power of them but that's why I'm making this video because I think it's a thing that if I'd known sooner I'd have been kind of happy with that um, so as I say you've got this setting here if you press the page across you eventually get to one with lots of cameras on it that's the snapshot mode that's the one that I use and that's the one where you can switch parameters between uh, different snapshots uh, and I think it's kind of useful Anyway, hopefully this was vaguely interesting. Um, there's probably lots of other good videos on snapshots that describe it better than me. I just want to describe how I'm using it and uh, also show you that I can now do my gigging preset with a, a tap tempo and tuner on the front, which I think is kind of important for some people to have a tap tempo and definitely to have a tuner. So yeah, long hold for my solo, uh, short hold for my rhythm and short hold for my clean kind of cool oh if you wanted those presets as well they'll be in the folder this one now is called JC gig um, because this is the preset that I would be using if I had any gigs cheers